Hello. So we are now at Party City. Target was a complete fail. Not only in the costume department, but also in the parenting department. Somebody who is now passed out back there had a complete meltdown. And it was so much fun to deal with. Wait, is he really passed out? Yeah, he's asleep now. Wait, what does pass out even mean? Asleep. So now I'm drinking my cold brew. Party City's right there. So now I get to carry this boy in. Hopefully they have a cart. Here we go. He passed it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so it's been a minute since I have been on here to make a video. Let me adjust myself. Hello. So it's been a minute <laughs> since I've made a video on here. I have footage. Um, I vlogged right before I left for Pittsburgh and then I vlogged a little bit in Pittsburgh and I vlogged just a little bit since we've been back. But I wanted to post this video. It's kind of like a two in one. It's today's vlog. So technically it's what we've done today. Marcus and I have our very first parent teacher conference for kindergarten <laughs> today. So that is what we are going to be doing later. Um, I don't know how I'm cutting this together, if it's gonna go before or after, but whatever. Um, I've just been taking some time for myself and I know it seems like I come on here all the time and I be like, oh, I don't know where I am in life, <laughs> but it's true. Being a stay-at-home mom pretty much 80% of the time is real boring sometimes. <laughs> And sometimes I just get really stuck in a way and then I just get sick of it. I am the type of person who can handle change, who just lets things happen when they happen. You live your life the way you want to live life. I can have my opinions and my emotions about it, but whatever, you do you and that's that. <laughs> but... um. I didn't take my computer to Pittsburgh, so that's one reason why I didn't have vlogs. Um, because my grandma's house that we stay in still um, does not have Wi-Fi, so I could edit and do it all that, but I couldn't upload anything. But I just wanted to go to Pittsburgh and enjoy it. We went for a funeral, um, but it was also like in fall break, so we were able, Franklin, but we were able to stay for a couple extra days just to be with family and to go through the house and try to get things cleaned out. It's always something that gets me reset. When I go, for some reason, I come back with more patience. I come back feeling better. And for a couple of weeks now, I've just kind of been like bleh and just in my way. And I don't know if that's because I know that my off season is coming. <laughs> um, basically, I only work six months out of the year and in two weeks, it's over, wedding season's over. I think I have one independent wedding and then after that, like I don't have anything. I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom and I can do makeup and that's about it. <laughs> And that's when I start to get like really lonely and really sad and obviously the weather changes. This is the best time of year for me because it's cool outside and I go outside and I actually like function where when it's really, really hot, like I don't like to be outside. It's not for me. Uh, but I've just been trying to get back to a good place and kind of live life again <laughs> i it doesn't look like it right now because of all the toys behind me but i've actually gone through my entire house and have cleaned every inch of this house and that's what i tend to do in a season shift is i go through my house i make it all pretty and i make it all organized and i light a new candle and it's just soothing for me it's weird that i like to clean i don't know what it is but it felt really good and then yesterday was the first time that i actually sat down and put makeup on for the first time in weeks <laughs> actually like sit down and put some on my face and it felt great and i did the same thing this morning and with my skin 
trying it to adjust it's looking a lot better it's mainly around my chin area right now and like on this cheek don't know what it is but i've added two new things i've added a serum and a vitamin c cream and those seem to like really do something for my face and i loved it i was doing a bunch of skincare research while i was in pittsburgh because i was just able to sit there <laughs> and just look for things that can help my face because even though i'm seeing a dermatologist and doing all of that i don't know i put on a little bit of weight as well i've gained about eight pounds and i don't know part of me is like who cares but the other part of me is like you worked so hard and now it's coming back like it's always been a fear of mine is watching it come back and i eat well during the day and i eat a well i eat a dinner that's good but it's the snacking late at night that i can't help i've been making i've been baking a lot and that doesn't help <sighs> i don't know franklin you're gonna ruin my leggings but right now I am I'm good I'm solid like I don't need to be in bed right now like that's how I feel because um, that's how I was for a couple of weeks like I would literally want to stay in bed and not do anything and not function and I think that's because I stay at home so much like to be a stay-at-home mom some there are days where i don't even change out of my clothes like i stay in my pjs and i don't function because i can just function from home and be on my phone and talk to people and all of that type of stuff so what i'm really trying to do now is wake up get like and ready for school she's off today because it's conference day what do i do but i get laken up i get her breakfast I pack her lunch and then I make coffee and then I go and get myself dressed and then we get on the bus and then we start the day. I sit and with my cup of coffee, I start a load of laundry. Like these are the things that I'm trying to, even though I, I do it all the time. Like I have a routine that I do, but I just get to the point where I'm like, F this, I'm so tired of this routine. Like, and then I have to remind myself that this is life and that I'm fine <laughs> and I just have to get it together sometimes <sighs> but that is why I have this vlog I think that was the last video that I uploaded is why I have a channel because even though I have friends and can vent and rant to people in my life it's just nice to talk to a camera and just vent it all out and get it out I'm so glad, hopefully this hasn't been distracting for you because I haven't even noticed it. But I have my clip-in extensions in today. I have this shirt on, this came from Amazon. This also came from Amazon. I have been wearing my clip-in extensions a lot. I absolutely love them. I put my tape-ins, the rest of the tape-ins that I had, I put them in with the clip-ins. So. So say here's like the band where the clips are. I just put them in between the clips and it works magically for me. I love it. I get a lot of compliments and I just, I love having long hair. <laughs> it's a lot of fun for me. I took, I wore my short hair. I wear it when I don't do anything. Like I wear my short hair. I don't just leave these clip-ins. Um, but I wore my short hair in Pittsburgh for the first time. Hello? and or yeah i wore my short hair for the first time and it was so weird i didn't even know who i was it was like i really want to put my clip-ins in but i didn't feel like doing my hair and it was just i needed to do it it was a whole bunch of fun <laughs> we went to the orchard and we took pictures and i posted it on facebook and people thought i was pregnant it was great that's a whole another thing if you're following me on instagram you saw my little rant about it but I need to get over it but we are about to go to the store and get some diapers and we need one more thing but i can't think of what it is so we will see you in a little bit thank you for coming to my ted talk and listening if you made it the whole time yay <laughs> hello hello we just left parent teacher conference we have future class president 
don't we? Just not quoted, but. Everybody yeah. knows Lakin. <laughs> she is bright and intelligent, lets the teacher know what's going on, and doesn't involve herself in drama, which is nothing like her mother. Must have got it from her father. So, we're very proud of her. Firstborn in kindergarten. What turn in here? Yeah. Left? Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Let's go but right then. We are heading back to go get the children. Squirreldren. Squirreldren. And then going home. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit your bell notification because I'm vlogging. She's a vlogger. See you later. Bye.